Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into our second class of the Clo 3D for Beginners course. In our last class, we learned how to drape an outfit on the avatar and get familiar with some basic tools. Today, we are going to learn how to save your outfit as a project and as a garment. Understanding the difference between saving as a project and saving as a garment is crucial. A project file allows you to edit your outfit later on, such as changing colors, adjusting sizes, and more. For example, let me open my project. In this project, I can easily change the color. If I want to increase the length, I can do so using the edit pattern tool. On the other hand, a garment file is like a reusable template. For instance, if you have a basic bodice pattern that you use frequently, you can save it as a garment so you don't have to recreate it every time. For example, I have a basic skirt pattern. If I want to make a skirt with gathers at the bottom, I will open my basic skirt garment and just add the gathers to it. Now, as you can see in my library, I have projects and garments folders. If you're just starting with Glow 3D, you might not have these folders. So, let's create them. I'm making two new folders on my desktop, one named Glow Projects and the other Glow Garments. Now, let's add these folders to our Clo library. Go back to Clo 3D. On the left side, you can see A plus sign in the library panel. Click on it to add your folders here. Navigate to the Clo projects folder, select it, and then do the same for the Clo garments folder. Now, let's save our work. To save a project, go to File, Save As, and then select Project. Choose the Clo Projects folder we just made and save your file there. For saving a garment file, go to File, Save As, and then select Garment.
Choose the Clo Garments folder and save your file there. And that's it. You now know how to save your work as a project and as a garment in Clo 3D. This will save you a lot of time and help you stay organized. In the next class, we are going to learn how to export your outfit as a picture. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next lessons. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next class. Bye.